Hello everyone and welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today I have the flu so bear with me while I struggle with my voice. Um, but I was very keen to participate in the Challenge XLT Off-Road Bear set down for us um, which is select your favourite five diecast vehicles and present them with a bit of a story behind each one. So number five in my list is the Plymouth Grand Fury from Matchbox. Not all the five are from Matchbox, but this one is. Um, this is the first uh, colour scheme this casting came out in. came out in a few others, but this is the original, the plainest, and the best, in my opinion. So that's number five. Put him there. Number four is Atomica. Um, I bought this in Japan in November 2019. Went to Japan for my birthday and um, didn't go there to buy diecast cars but wound up spending a very large amount of money on diecast cars. Um, and when I was feeling very sheepish, um, it was my birthday, my actual birthday because we went there for my birthday. But um, long story short, my wife says, well, it's your birthday, what do you want to do? And I said, uh, can we go around to all the second-hand shops that specialise in diecast all day? And so we did, and uh, we were exhausted by the end of it, but the last shop we went into for the day um, was in a very swish part of Tokyo, um, second-hand diecast store of vintage diecast. And uh, I bought a lot of cars, and on the way out, my wife spotted this and a Cadillac of the same ilk in the cabinet. And uh, it was one of those moments where one of the little doors in your tiny brain opens up, and a whole chapter of your childhood is there um, that you'd completely forgotten about. And this car did that for me. Um, Christmas, probably 80 or 81. My oldest brother got this um, along with the funky box, which we'll take out now. And I was in absolute awe of this little fella and uh, funky box as well. But um, it was one of those you can look at a boy, but do not touch. This is mine, and uh, rightfully so. It's a stunning little piece. And when I saw it in Tokyo, I just had to have it, and I got the Cadillac as well. <laughs> so. That's number four. And number three is a brand new favourite. Some get to the list and stay on it forever and some nudge a couple off. Um, this is a Fort Crown Victoria taxi. Um, it was given to me by David at Twice Diecast and has become an instant favourite. Uh, I've got a lot of taxis in my collection, and I've got one dark green one, or metallic green one it is, um, but this is the first of this one, and of course it's special because it was given to me by a brand new friend of mine. So he's at number three. Took me a while, but I got there in the end. Number three. Number two is a Mercury Cougar. From a long time ago. Um, this is the old Lesney from Matchbox, obviously, um, because my father owned one of these when I was growing up in Christchurch, New Zealand. Um, it wasn't of that colour, it was actually the gold with the black vinyl roof, but not the 50 on the door. Um, that's a Hot Wheels version, but I actually like the plain Lesney version better. So have a look at the bottom there. So that is number two. And number one is uh, the 62 of uh, what they come out in, oh, obviously 75. Um, this is the Chevrolet Corvette and this is my number one favourite and probably will be for a very long time 
although extremely hard to pick five, I can see why Colin from Colin Stycast went for ten. Good on you, mate. <laughs> but, um, and I enjoyed that video too. Um, so if, if you haven't checked his video out, go and do so. Um, but I managed to keep mine down to five begrudgingly because I do feel sad for about 20 cars that didn't make this video. Um, getting back to the Corvette, uh, that was back in the day, early 80s, where my second oldest brother um, got a job and uh, after school and on payday he would go by the toy shop and pick up a few Matchbox cars for himself. And when this one came home, again, it was, you can look but don't touch. And then he went for real life cars when he got the money and these were of no interest to him. So he finally gave it to me, not this ac actual one. Um, I don't have that one, but again, when I saw this one, I had to have it. So that's why it's my number one. So there you are, my favorite five challenge. Um, thanks to XLT Off-Road Bear for setting the challenge. It's a really good idea. Um, if you haven't seen XLT Off-Road Bear's channel, go and check it out. Do yourself a big old favor. He's got some really cool castings and uh, there's usually a really cool story behind each one he shows. Very entertaining and uh, worth a visit. So pop on over and subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. And that's about it for me for today. Just before my, vo my voice finally gives in. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.